Yo, Benny, next time I see you, you're my next victim. Okay. You're going down. 3-0, best of one. Best of one. Next, next locals, Friday. I read all the comments. I read all the disrespect. You guys are telling me, Trip, you play Scareclaw, you play Tier Limit. You're a poser, you're a poser this. Well, today's video, I'm playing Draco Slayers, finally. And I'm gonna show, I'm not actually playing it. I'm actually gonna destroy Draco Slayers. Ah, that's right. Are you ready to lose? No. He's gonna be playing Draco Slayers here. I'm gonna show you guys a deck better than Draco Slayers. That's right. A deck created by Team Samurai X1. I have not looked at this deck yet. I just believe in Team Samurai X1's Yu-Gi-Oh abilities. So in today's video, I'm gonna be using Team Samurai X1's deck against my very beloved Draco Slayers. Dude, can I kiss your deck? Your deck. Your deck with an E. Draco Slayer Pen best deck versus Team Sam best deck. Let's go. Who do you guys think is gonna win? Draco Slayers piloted by my homie or Sam's deck piloted by me? Sam's a good duelist, but he's not the best duelist in the world. I'm not just the best duelist in the world at Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm also the best duelist in the world at Elastro. Game is insane. I'm telling you right now. Me and my brother play at least five games a day. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. Go check out the Kickstarter down below. This game is actually insane. So let's get back into this video. Limited time only, boys. December 4th. Get your Kickstarter edition now. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Bro, are you I'll go first. Yeah. As we get into this duel, if you guys want to see my updated version of Draco Slayers, let me know in the comments. Because before about Odd Eyes Seer just came out, and there's a cool Draco Slayer Odd Eyes deck that we can make. If you guys want to see that Draco Slayer Odd Eyes video, let me know in the comments. I'll get straight into this duel. Draco Slayers versus Team Samurai X1's deck. I don't even know what I figured out now. He's playing Sprite. But he's playing some weird version of Sprite here. So, I'm going to be taking his deck. It's like Sprite Bisted uh, against Draco Slayer. So, I want to see how, not just how does Draco Slayer perform, but how does the second most played deck after Tierlemon perform. So, we all know the pen best deck. That's Fox. You know what's Fox? What? Tier 0 format? What is Tierlemon, bro? Tierlemon is the tears that tier players shed when they face a Draco Slayer player. But I would also like to see how it is to face off against a Draco Slayer player so we can all learn as much as possible. So here, uh, he is playing a Swap Frog version. Uh, Team Samurai X1 is playing a Swap Frog version of Sprite. As I said, this is his deck. I didn't even look at it. I just took it. And whatever it was, I was ready to roll with. Uh, even if it was fun, okay, if it was Thunder, I would have actually just stopped playing. But over here, here, the idea of the Swap Frog package is, yes, to Ron and Toad is obviously banned a few formats ago, a few balance ago. But by playing two Swap Frog, you could check out Sprite to swap Send another swap, Elf special. You can still get access to Toad with Elf bringing back to Toad. In this scenario, because I know I have a lot of interruptions, I'm kind of saving my Elf. I, I don't really want to Elf a Toad. Yes, I get a, a water back, but uh, you're going to see what some plays I'm going to do here. So I, I do have a lot of plays to stop his cards. I have Unicorn. Masquerade is a Unicorn in my extra deck. Here I go for Elf to get a Jet because I want to be able to Smashers easily or something I don't need. So I go Smashers there because... I know how pendulums are. As long as you get the scales out of there, this is a great way to stop pendulums. I know we probably should not be saying this, but it, nonetheless, it is true. So here, I do have an opportunity to stop the Master Pendulum, and it was a scenario that I could have done. I could have Masquerina and Unicorn, but what I want to do here, I want to actually, I want him to expend as many resources as possible. I want him to discard off this Maiden. I want him to get a, the Field Spell. I will get rid of the Field Spell after he discards. I want him to put Monsters on Field. The idea against pendulums, that how you, this is the way you stop pendulums, and there's no one better to learn this from from myself. Just get rid of the scales. Don't allow them to pendulum summon. If there's no pendulum summon, the pendulum player will not be doing much. So here I go into Unicorn right away uh, to get rid of the Sky Iris. I don't want his stuff, I want this stuff to be targetable. Targetable. I have a hand trap in my hand as well right now, and I have a totally awesome. And he doesn't have many cards left. So over here I make a judgment, he summons a joker. And I make a judgment call to, to negate that. And once I negate that, I'm going to get Nimble Beaver back. That's the only water I wanted. Swamp Frog in my hand is literally useless. I did not care for it. Here he pens summons too, but there's nothing he could do. What's he going to do? Baguska, I have links in the field. There's no actual play he could do. As he's going to scoop over there, it's going to be game. And on top of that, I had trap. So in that scenario, whether you're playing Sprite and if whoever's watching this, whether you're playing Sprite, whether you're playing a Pendulums, whatever deck you're playing, you have to learn. You have to learn. You have to know. Uh, how to gain advantage from your deck. So, yes, I could have used, saved the Toad and have Elf not get me a, uh, a starter. 
But I need the elf to get a jet, and that jet's gonna get me a starter. So next turn I have beaver and starter. So every other card in my hand I just use to stop him. So you want to make sure you have a follow up. It's not about turn one. It's about turn turn three. It's about winning the duel. It's not even about turn three. It's about turn seven hundred. It's about winning the duel. But as pendulum players, people don't uh, have a second turn because we OTK their ass, baby. Uh, so you already know what it is. So here I'm trying to side deck against a pendulum duelist. This is like doing myself, bro. This is like doing myself. So we're gonna see what he does. I just throw in every hand trap in the game. So right now we're gonna hand trap into oblivion. But typically in this meta, there's not many hand traps that you have to deal with. Uh, luckily, Sam side deck had a lot of hand traps, so we're gonna be able to have a lot of hand traps in this scenario. But the beauty, if you're a pendulum player, if you're watching this video and you're a pendulum player, you gotta think about it like this. There's no Ash, no Nib, no Valor in the format. Use all that information what you will. So what well, Hatcher's gonna stop us, Skullmeister? So Pendulum is actually an amazing meta call this format. An incredible meta call this format. As you guys saw in my last few deck profiles on Pendulums. It's a great meta call this format. Like there's no Droll, there's no Nibiru, there's no Valor, there's no Imperm. Luckily, Sam is still sucking last format. So this hand of mine has a fuck ton of headshots. Let's go, let's go. So here, uh, opponent Bricks here. He has Bambuku and Maiden in the scales. One cool thing here, okay, so in this scenario, Bambuku bricks my uh, my opponent, but if against tier limit, right, you don't use your graveyard, but if you go normal Bambuku, Bambuku cannot be targeted by Solyak, it'll resolve, it'll get made, and they use Maiden's effect, Draco Sarah cards cannot be targeted. So if you do that, and you don't use your graveyard, and not, no card can be targeted, you just uh, cook your opponent. I'm veiling the shit out of this Beyond the Pendulum, and damn, Sam's cards are sexy. Y'all see that ulti first veiler? My goodness. So over here, um, uh, he doesn't have much of an answer. He he bricked, as he said. Uh, his only real answer here is going to be ending on a Baguska. Uh, and truthfully, with the card, the cards I have in my hand right now, uh, they all actually lose to Baguska. They they like this is very rough to Baguska. But luckily, I have a pot of prosperity. So I want this prosperity to be an imperm. I really need an imperm here because my whole hand actually loses to, to Sprite, to, to Baguska Sprite's ass. So I'm praying to the pen god. I'm praying to God. Give me an imperm, baby. <laughs> Cheating also sucks. You get some, you get no version. I was just hoping yeah. that if I play Yo, this card, I was gonna play nothing. But, um, oh shit! I called it. I'm insane. I think it's doomed. I'm just not gonna even look. No, it's doomed. <laughs> it's doomed. <laughs> I really am built different. I am built different. You ask and you shall receive. Big booty Latinas. Big booty Latinas. Big booty Latinas. You ask and you shall receive, baby. That's it. So I know that now the duel's over. Now that I got the Imperial Baguska and I got the Summon Fenrir. And I have this full starter. This duel is obviously over now. Uh, and what does it show? So, yes, I win this duel against Pendulum 2-0. But what does it show? What does it show? That Pendulums, well, at least this list. I, I told my boy, I'm like, yo, I got to work on your list. Because this Draco Slayer list, his list sucked. So, if you guys want to see a Draco Slayer list, let me know. I want to give my own. There's new Draco Slayer. Uh, there's a new Odd Eyes card that came out. Uh, Perform Paul Odd Eyes here. Which actually makes the power of this deck way stronger. Uh, do you guys want to see it? Do you guys want to see the new, the, uh, with the new, like it just came out as well. If you guys want to see it, raise your hand. If you guys want to see it, raise your hand. Because I would actually love to show you guys. I do think that uh, new Odd Eyes Draco Slayer with that card, I mean, it's a three of. There's some crazy combos with it, uh, utilizing a lot of cool cards in the deck. I would love to show you guys. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. And uh, here I will be doing the honor of uh, destroying Pendulums. Not many people have the ability to say that because we are undefeated against every single deck in the world. And uh, that's that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see it. Uh, if you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Also, if you guys didn't have the opportunity already, check out Illustros down below. The game is honestly incredible, guys. I, I love the game. Uh, I would not be pushing it this much if I did not. I truly believe in the game. I think it's amazing. And uh, that's it. I did the unthinkable, guys. I just beat Pendulums. With Team Samurai X1's deck, we got, guys, we got to bring Draco Slayer to the moon. I haven't been playing Draco Slayers enough because Pen Magician is better. That ass guy I'm playing as Pen Magician is better. So, in the future, we're going to work on Draco Slayer deck. We've got to avenge them for beating them. Shout out Sam for lending me his deck. Sam's my boy. Second best Yugo player in the game after me. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game. Available now on Kickstarter.